I always thought if one day I ever became a writer or a whatever, that would be a good subject, Judas Iscariot, the story from his point of view. It was just an idea I had when I was about 15, and we all have lots of ideas when we're 15, and I was lucky enough to get the chance to do it. Whatever anybody may say about it, it is an actual fact very, very carefully constructed. It never, never dumps the audience anywhere. It goes just like a train from A to B. That's what it does. I, and in fact, I think the construction of Superstar is the reason why it's kept going. Incredibly, Superstar wasn't even written for the stage. In the beginning, it was just a demonstration record. The record now, as London's longest running musical, is a vastly different one. The reason why Jesus Christ Superstar was recorded was because nobody would put it on stage. I mean, every single producer in London said, you have to be joking. I mean, this is the worst idea in history. Doing it on record made it shorter, cut out the book, made it more contemporary, made it more rock, gave it more energy, and identified it more with a younger audience. All those things the record gave us. We didn't really appreciate all that at the time, because largely thanks to Andrew, we were, we were trying to write for the theatre, not for records. But doing it that way round worked so well, because in addition to making the work itself better, it promoted the work so well. So when it finally hit the stage, everybody knew the entire score. We had no idea that Superstar was the hit that it really was in America. I mean, we, we practically got off the plane and found ourselves all over Time magazine. And, and, and we weren't really that aware of um, <laughs> the fact that the, the so-called Jesus movement in America. We were accused of being anti-God and anti-Semitic and various other things, but we weren't, and we knew we weren't, and, um, and most people who protested hadn't even seen the show. And by and large, they helped us, really, because if you see a front-page protest about something, it makes you more intrigued to go and see it.